hello everyone so we are uh, going to record this video for you uh, as a help you know in terms of how to fill the registration form for seed the future entrepreneurs program for this year 2023 so i'm sharing my screen here where you can see uh, the link for this form has already been sent to your whatsapp groups you must have also received this through email from uh, dashboard systems but uh, once you have this link i'm again going to share this link with you through uh, whatsapp but once you have this link uh, open this form what you see here is uh, the form uh, with different fields the first field here to be filled is your name of the school and atl uid if you don't have uh, the uh, atl uid with you or your school doesn't have uh, atl registered yet Uh, in case of some of our schools like state atls or other schools where uh, we are in the process of registering them as atls what you can do is you can write uh, na other schools with atl uids will fill the atl uids here in this uh, section next thing is schools address you can write in detail city uh, then zip code etc the next important field here, uh, here is principal's name principal's email you should write the active email id that the uh, principal or all the teachers are using wherever there is email id asked you must ensure that that email id is actively been used by the teachers or the principal then the principal's contact number you can add uh, the uh, the mobile number or the landline number here then the next question asked here is is your school coed school boys and girls together or is it just girls school or boys boys school then would you like to nominate all girls team so this is again uh, recommended if you have all girls team that is perfectly fine or else you can also have mix of boys and girls then have you participated in this program before yes or no then uh, share atl teacher's name or teacher who will be responsible for leading this program so name you can add uh, name of the atl in charge teacher here teacher's email again active email id then their mobile number the next field is share supporting teacher's name who will be assisting the lead teacher since this is a mandatory field and uh, what we are recommending here is you can add the supporting teacher's name or else Uh, we will share one con point of contact from vigyan ashram with you that name you can add here you know uh, the vigyan ashram's facilitator name you can add here their email id and their phone number then uh, there is one form uh, the soft copy of the form is given here you can download that form uh, from this button download button there are two forms like this one form is regarding the atl uh, the atl uh, details of the atl and uh, uh, the next thing is the next form is regarding the teachers information so i have already downloaded downloaded these forms i'll directly share those with you so the first form is regarding the infrastructure available uh, at your school so what it asks you is whether your your school has atl lab yes or no or innovation lab list of the equipment in the lab so what is the size of the lab in square feet uh, then do you have 3d printer in the lab yes or no and is it operational and working condition you should write yes no uh, if you don't have 3d printer you write no here and then not applicable as an answer to the next question uh, maximum size of the parts that can be printed on it so in your 3d printer manual uh you have that information what is the build size of the 3d printer so bed size length width and the height of the part that can be printed so that you can add here so you should write length width and height the maximum size of the parts printed then list of the equipments available in the atl tinkering lab as uh, specified by atl so you can in general write you know mechanical tools what what are the mechanical tools available what are the electronic uh, tools and components available in general plus safety equipments and 
other infrastructure available in your lab you should write including your computers uh, then details of the computers to be mentioned here in the next field number of computers ram size so if you don't uh, know the ram size of the computer you should identify uh, you know ask someone in the school uh, or if you know that how to identify the ram size you can write that here and graphics card information so both of these information will be available uh, in the computer so you can find that out and write it here if you don't know how to identify you can ask one of our uh, facilitators from Vigyan Ashram they will uh, help you to how to identify that information then uh, the next thing is do you use any 3d design uh, CAD software in your school so in case you are using Tinkercad or apart from Tinkercad you are using any other software you should write it here fabrication facility available in the lab so like if you have building or any other facility like cutting uh, you know saw or drilling all those facilities if you have you can definitely mention here internet connectivity and bandwidth available so you should write internet connectivity available and so and so mbps 50 uh, 6 mbps 100 mbps speed uh, should be written here then additional facility available at school in this context which will be useful for this program so whatever it is available you can write uh, any uh, thing that is useful for this program that you can think uh, like vinyl cutting machine if it is needed for the program later you should write or any other tools you think uh, are extra available in your lab you can definitely write here next important field is provide the picture of the lab and infrastructure so you should write uh, you should uh, add a picture of the lab uh, and infrastructure you can attach that as a separate uh, files also in the form the next thing is uh, if you can provide the video of the lab facilities available uh, what we recommend is in case you don't have any videos so far of your lab you should record a small video of uh, you know two three minutes uh, simple your, your mobile camera also you can use usually you should use the landscape mode in the mobile to record the video record uh, you know what are the facilities available in your lab may not be even not more than two minutes upload that video on your school's youtube channel or your youtube channel if you have and give that link uh, here in this field it is not mandatory but if you provide that it will be an additional information available with Dassault systems about your school facility. Next thing is provide details of the new projects developed by students using schools lab facilities during last one year. So just write all the you know list of the projects done by the students. So that that is all about uh, the first form. Now the second form is regarding the teachers information. So teachers profile you should add an image here put a recent photograph uh, then you can take a printout uh, you paste a photo write your name teaching experience in terms of number of years main subjects you are teaching in last two years uh, any innovation technology projects that led by you so you should be actively leading that project uh, how do you think this program will benefit your students you should write one or two lines here and why do you wish to lead this program for your school so you can write uh, you know uh, because of your interest or your capabilities or whatever reason you have you should write here then supporting teachers profile also to be added here image name teaching experience main subjects you are teaching for last two years uh, innovation technology projects led by the supporting teacher and how do you think and same questions uh, to be answered by the second teacher okay so what we recommend is you can add name of the second teacher here from the school itself uh, and the information from that teacher that is to be added so once these two forms are filled by you uh, handwritten what you can do is you can scan them or take pictures of those two forms and attach those forms here you can also add uh, pictures of your school uh, the lab basically uh, some of the pictures of your pro uh, projects done in the lab you can add uh, YouTube link uh, you can add directly into that form and then uh, does your the next question is does your school have regular internet connectivity 
for at least four hours in a day yes is english the primary language for your school if it is no just say no majority of the instructions of the program related to various technologies will be in the english language please confirm if the teacher of the program knows english so that that is again a mandatory field and then there are specific instructions given the team should consist of six students so it should not be more than uh, or less than six students only students from class 8 to 10th should enroll in this program so please know this uh, is an year long program and we expect student to be in this program with 100% commitment and willingness to learn as there will be many entrepreneurship facets to be covered in this program so it is not just one program one project done so this program will give uh, you know exposure to the student regarding the entrepreneurship you know different areas of entrepreneurship uh, next point is if you think the student can manage their academics and program we can have one or two 11th standard students in the team uh, and it is up to school or par parents decision if one or two students are from 11th standard then please choose rest for five or four students from 8th to 10th standard the form should be filled by teacher or principal next is there are two declarations that we are making by submitting this form you are confirming that la foundation industrial systems atal innovation mission can use the data for this process and education purpose only and you also confirm that your school is interested in participating in this program and you will be in the program for the entire duration of the program so once you have all this uh, information field the forms field you can submit the form you don't need to have the project identified or anything you know for filling this form so hope this video will help you to fill this form in case of any question you can contact any of our Vikashram uh, facilitators through WhatsApp or phone. Thank you.